Selling Sunset star Jason Oppenheim and his twin brother Brett Oppenheim may be identical, but their dating histories are varied. The co-owners of the Oppenheim Group are successful in their real estate careers, but with both brothers showing off their business prowess on the series, many have wondered why viewers don't see more of their personal lives on screen. During Selling Sunset Season 5, Jason's personal life was on full display while he was dating Chriselle Staus, who has since gotten married to Australian rapper G Flip. Brett, on the other hand, has become more and more elusive as the seasons of Selling Sunset have continued on. With Jason and Brett more in the spotlight than ever, many are curious about their lives outside real estate. With Selling Sunset Season 6 taking the drama on full force after the departure of original villain Christine Quinn, Jason and Brett were in the backseat with the agents getting the majority of the screen time. When Jason and Brett were around, it was open season for the brothers as they joked around with the agents and admonished them for their work, in equal measure. Jason introduced his girlfriend, Marie Lou Nurk, to the series, a first for the show, leading many to inquire about who the twins have dated in the past. 10. Jason Oppenheim gets dragged for dating co-workers Jason has consistently been dragged for how many women that he's dated from the Oppenheim group. His original ex-girlfriend, Nicole Young, joined the cast of Selling Sunset in the most recent season, but after Nicole he also dated Mary Fitzgerald. His relationship with Mary, who's now married to Roman Bonnet, has always been odd to watch because of just how incredibly close they've stayed. Still, Jason's habits of inter-office romance are bizarre, especially knowing he's now dated at least three women who work at the Oppenheim Group. This was called out during Selling Sunset Season 6 by Chelsea Lascani, who joked around with Jason about it on a double date. 9. Jason Oppenheim usually dates much younger women Jason's penchant for dating younger women may not be unique for the 46-year-old, but it's notable that though he continues aging, his girlfriends seem to stay the same age. Jason is currently dating Marie Lou, who turned 25 during the filming of Selling Sunset Season 6. The pair seem to work well together but it's a curiosity that Jason has so much in common with women in their young 20s, especially considering he's less than 5 years away from being 50. Jason seems happy, which is what matters most, but it will be interesting to see if the pattern continues, should Jason become single again. 8. Brett Oppenheim dated Tina Louise during Selling Sunset Season 5. Viewers were introduced to Brett's girlfriend, Tina, during a trip that Brett, Tina, Jason, Chrishell, Mary, and Roman took to Greece. The couple seemed happy and appeared sporadically throughout the rest of the season, but broke up after eight months together. In a post he made to signify the end of their relationship. Brett got sentimental about Tina and shared a few of his favorite photos of their time together. It's unclear why the couple broke up, but if Brett and Jason are as alike as they seem, it likely had something to do with a fear of commitment. 7. Jason Oppenheim Marie Lou Nurk are still together Jason and Marie Lou, who many felt were not going to last as a couple through their three-week vacation to Europe are surprisingly still together in 2023. While Jason can be highly focused on work when he's home and dealing with the agents at the Oppenheim Group, it seems that he's been able to pay attention to his relationship closely enough to stay with his girlfriend for nearly a year. With Jason and Marie Lou still together, many are curious if this means he's finally in a relationship for the long haul. 6. Jason has a soft spot for his ex, Mary Fitzgerald Mary and Jason have always talked about their incredibly close relationship on Selling Sunset, 
and it's been clear throughout the series that the two share a special bond. Though they say that they only dated for about a year, the exes have two dogs together and have managed to continue to co-own them without any issue. Throughout the series, the pair call each other babe without a second thought, even though Mary and Roman have been married for the duration of Selling Sunset. Their relationship, while clearly comfortable for both their partners, is much closer than that of a standard pair of exes. 5. Brett dated a tattoo artist in late 2022. Brett was linked to German tattoo artist Samantha Abdul, though the two never confirmed anything publicly about their relationship. According to Samantha's Instagram, she works for XAM Tattoo in Hamburg, and spends some of her free time traveling wherever she can go. Samantha is a mother to a young son, who she welcomed before being linked with Brett. The pair doesn't seem to be dating anymore, but sparked rumors when they were initially seen together after his split from Tina. 4. Brett Oppenheim also dated Katya Dimitrenko during Selling Sunset Season 3. Brett was also linked to model Katya Dimitrenko, who appeared on the show at one of the lavish events during the season. While the women questioned Brett about his new girlfriend, he seemed deeply uncomfortable talking about something he deemed to be private in a public space. Still, the agents were curious and found Katya on social media before meeting her. The couple didn't last, perhaps because when Brett was asked if she had wifey potential, he responded by saying don't be ridiculous, she has sex potential. 3. Jason isn't ready to have kids. That's why he Chriselle Staus broke up. Throughout Selling Sunset Season 5, one of the main plot points was surrounding Jason's reluctance to have a family, despite his serious relationship with Chriselle. While Chriselle was incredibly happy in her relationship with Jason, she wanted to know there was a future there for the couple that included a family, and at 40, she knew she didn't have much time to wait. Jason decided that he didn't want to have children just yet and the pair broke up, despite still having deep feelings for one another. Thankfully, during Selling Sunset Season 6, Jason's girlfriend Marie Lou makes it clear that she's not interested in having kids anytime soon. 2. Jason always acts like he found the one Jason has been in several relationships throughout the duration of Selling Sunset and with every girlfriend he has the problem of always acting like the woman he's with is the one. He seems to jump in head first to all of his relationships, truly believing he has found the love of his life. As Jason goes all in on his relationships, it seems clear that he then finds faults in his partners or his relationships to be completely catastrophic, rather than something to work through. Putting all his eggs into one basket hasn't worked for him in the past, though it's possible he's changed his ways. One Brett seems as reluctant as Jason to give up his bachelor lifestyle both Brett and Jason have an attachment to their bachelor lifestyles, living as freely and unattached as possible. While this isn't a problem, it's interesting that they're both almost always in relationships, considering just how much they value their freedom. With Jason in a newfound serious relationship with Marie Lou, Brett may be the only brother that's still firm in his bachelordom. Hopefully, Selling Sunset Season 7 will answer all the burning questions viewers have about the Oppenheim twins. Sources. Welcome Odiosis, Twitter, Ayana, Twitter, Brett Oppenheim, Instagram, Jason Oppenheim, Instagram, Mary Bonnet, Instagram, Us Weekly, Instagram, Samantha Abdul, Instagram, Brett Oppenheim, Instagram, Jason Oppenheim, Instagram, Jason Oppenheim, Instagram, 
Jason Oppenheim, Instagram. Let's